Malalele, my name is Wawo Hiko and I'm one of the six students that were chosen to take part in the eVelocity project. The team was invited to Auckland University where Team eVelocity explained the purpose behind the project and had an exhibition of some previous projects. Our team decided to start the project by coming up with designs and putting it on paper. We worked together to design a model of what our eVelocity project would look like. We used a smaller model from a toy and recycled other items. With the help from each other, we got the pieces we needed to build our own prototype of the car. We focused more on the design of the car to make sure that our driver would be able to sit in and be comfortable while driving. Recycling. Apart from the velocity cut and metal tubing for the structure of our project, the team decided to recycle and reuse materials. This blended very well with our school being a part of the Enviro School. Starting up the main structure. After looking at how our model worked, the group decided to make some changes to the design. We plan to use the wheels of a bicycle. Team Evolocity offered to send us a mentor to assist with our project. Mr. Roger Lee helped us to fine tune our design. He also helped us to keep our project within the guidelines of Evolocity. Mr. Roger Lee came every fortnight and worked with us to put everything together. Involving our community. Our group met up and discussed ways in which we could get our community involved. We decided to invite the experts and explain about the project. These people were experts in welding fabrication, sheet metal and carpentry. Kia ora na. my name is Cecilia Shuki and I am also one of the six students that were selected to be part of the Evelocity program. Putting things together. We started to put together our project using our metal tubing structure and recycling item. We ran a road through the drum at the back to build the real wheels. Another two rods were welded from this rod to the frame, which ran to the rod that held the steering. Once we had the drum at the correct place, we welded the rollover bar and two rods in the middle of the drum, which acted as the support for our seat. We also created a battery bay and a motor platform. We used the rubber ducting to cover the rollover bar and fix the box to the drum to hold the batteries. We reused the school chair for the seat and fixed it to the centre rods to have stability. We also built a dashboard around the base of the steering rod to mount the starter. The team decided to test the vehicle before installing the motor to see if it was strong enough to hold a driver. We also tested the maneuverability and comfort. After the test, we realised that we needed to make some adjustments. Instead of having the rear wheels welded to the frame, we decided to bolt it so that we can change tyres easily. We also removed the wooden battery box and replaced it with an aluminium box. Getting our velocity project running on battery. We had a wooden base for the battery bay at first, but decided that it wasn't strong enough and replaced it with a metal base. Installing the metal needed a lot of precision and this took some time. We had to ensure that the chain wasn't too tight or loose as well. The wiring part of the project was very easy as it came with the labels and instructions. We fixed the main hub board to the drop and ran all the wires to the plug-in. The batteries were arranged in a parallel circuit. We made a charging bay to keep the charger for the battery. The kill switch and the throttle controller were installed on the steering wheel. We changed the ignition key to a switch which we fixed on the dashboard. Test drive! A success! We took our project for a test drive and everything worked well. Naming our team. Our Evelocity group got together to decide on a name for our project. We wanted to have something that reflects Sir Edmund Hillary conquering Mount Everest. After some discussion, we went to the leaders of our school for help. Using their suggestions, the group agreed on the name Kappa Toa. Kappa means team, and according to the Modi Dictionary, Toa means to be brave, bold, victorious, accomplished, skillful, and capable. Adding the final touches. Team Kapatua got together with Mr. Manu, our Make a Space Tutor, and produced a 3D image of our name. We got this from the side of the vehicle. We also printed a sticker of our name which went on the battery box. Special mentions. Members of Kapatua would like to thank everyone who helped us with the Evelocity project. Special thanks to our principal and deputy principal. A huge thank you to Sarah and Roger, our mentors from the Team Evelocity, for allowing us to be a part of this enlightening experience. Mr. Manu, our Maker Space Tutor for 3D printing, Mr. Kurt Utai Lawrenson for helping with the painting, 
Ms. Rani Laupepe for filming. Mr. Lal and Mr. Naidu for all the welding work you have done. Mr. Lorenzo and Ms. Lee from Uttar Bike Burp for donating wheels for our project. We are very thankful to all these people for their help and guidance. Middle school, Mana, all day, every day.